Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So as some of you may have seen, I actually appeared in a Sverige video recently. Now, if you're not really familiar with Sverige, you've probably heard of him. He's the guy that goes around eating raw meat at activism events and outside vegan restaurants. He got fined once for eating a raw squirrel outside of a restaurant, I think. But basically, he was in Sommerfest in Berlin, which is their version of VegFest, walking around debating people. Now, we happened to see him walk past, so me and my mate Danny thought it'd be fun to go over, strike up a conversation, and he can debate us. So Sverige obviously included a few clips of this debate in one of his videos, but the whole debate went on for over half an hour. So I think it's only fair that we actually reveal the whole debate to people so they can watch the entire thing. Now, luckily, Danny was filming on his mobile phone. One of Sverige's mates was also filming. So I've grabbed the footage from both sources and combined them so you can see as much of the debate that we have available. So get yourself comfortable, maybe get yourself a cup of cocoa, get like a snuggly blanket or something and enjoy me, Sverige and friends having a debate in Berlin. Enjoy. Deficiency any more than anyone oh, else, yeah. is there? Oh, well, there's a study showing that in the UK, I don't know if you're from the UK or whatever. Yeah, 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 but that was with the pregnant women. There's only like 65 no, participants in no, there, no, no. so it was it all women? women? Yeah, but there wasn't there only like 65 people in the entire study. There's more studies. But, like, there's yeah. no real it, it doesn't, doesn't study matter, of just vegans. It doesn't matter if it was even one, right? It's, if you care about humans, you would care even about one human who can convert Yeah, but you're not, are you not saying that there's no one who eats meat that isn't also vitamin A deficient as well? No, because you get vitamin A from animals, yeah. that's the But there's no, the thing is, there is no study though showing, I mean, that, that vitamin A is can prolific throughout veganism though, is there? There, is, there isn't anything. Oh, there's there's this, been studied that, in general, yeah. Yeah, there's this one study that says, like you said, about maybe some women, there's they did that study. Studies. But I mean, we can't base everything on that one study when there hasn't been a large population study that's showing it that it's a problem across the board. You know, studies can be wrong, as you know, I'm sure you're aware. So, I mean, you take it with a pinch of salt, you know. Of is it right, is it not? Mm. I mean, if we, and if we look at it, you know, realistically, I mean, you know, all the major, you know, associations, you've got the NHS, American Diet Association, all that. They've all done the studies, all peer reviewed, saying that we can get everything that we need. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of vegans in hospital right now, all dying. Except for a few babies. Yeah, but how many meeting parents what is are veganism? also in there What does well? veganism oh, have to do with these babies? That's not veganism, that's bad, that's bad parenting. That's bad parenting, that's bad parenting. Vegans can be terrible parents as well as me. You can have a, you can, babies fed uh, like what you guys call doing it the right way. Yeah, but how do we know? How do we, we haven't got a food diary saying yeah, that they, they ate? They did oh, have they did. a food diary. The, the last one, the 19 month old from okay. Australia, they said exactly what he ate. Vegetables, fruit, tofu, rice, whatever. Just a perfect balanced vegan diet. Okay, okay but I mean, d just say you're wrong, okay? Just say that one, uh, you know, it, it didn't go well for that one baby, okay? We can also look at other you know, individuals that are eating meat, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be babies there that maybe ate a meat diet as well and also got ill. There's no, always going to be an million, exception, no, but it doesn't debunk the whole no, of veganism, it does it? It just shows no, that there showing, was problems no, with... No, that case yeah. just shows that it's bad for babies, yeah. Well, no, it shows it was bad for that individual baby. It doesn't yeah, show it's bad for babies across no. the board. There's plenty of vegan babies, right? We've got, we've got to be realistic. No, there's, no. I mean, there's no vegan cow babies dying. because they all get... Eating their no, of course they don't. I know loads of friends with vegan babies, no, they, they're they all fine. They get breastfed, they get breastfed, that's right. not vegan. Breast Imagine a cow vegan. dying no, yeah, because they ate grass. It's their it's ideal milk. diet, it's diet but they die. No, but it's their mother's milk and cow. their mother no, consents to giving them the milk. Yeah, that's then you, yeah. yeah, yeah, surely that's fine, right? If you say, you believe that animal products are unhealthy? What's that? Do I don't believe that they're unhealthy? No, 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 that animal products are unhealthy. I don't believe all of them are necessarily unhealthy. I mean, I do believe, you know, it's obvious, you know, there's a lot of people eating animal products and they're okay. Everyone's not dying. I mean, obviously we can look into the studies and some of them say that it can increase risks and stuff like that, which is fine. I mean, I'm an ethical vegan. I do it because I'm, I don't believe we should kill animals when we have alternatives. And I don't see the vegan diet causing these massive problems. I really don't see it. And I, these studies don't, don't back it up. To see it. That's also no, of course I do. I'm, I'm very open to stuff. That's why I came over and chatted, and you know, we're having yeah, a, a civil not, chat. I'm not gonna. But when we when we give you examples about babies, literally no, but you dying, gave it one baby. One baby. Yeah. You, you, you can't show me like, you know, like ten thousand babies have died because of the vegan diet. You know what I mean? Of, like, there, there's, there's really there's many, not. But, nah, there's many, but there's. 
there's it's just it's you admit bad parenting industry, can be a big right. part of that as well, right? It can't it just be down to a diet. Well. I'm just saying then that particular baby ate a who don't want good to admit that they're diet. vegan because they don't want veganism to get a bad name, even though their baby fucking died because it's more important. Yeah, this is this is the thing, right? Not all vegans. No vegans are sensible people. Some vegans are idiots and they're dickheads. They have no idea what they're doing. The same as with anybody else. There's always going to be those exceptions where yeah, those people. It's always what you guys say. Yeah, no, but there is because they, the thing is. Vegans, the thing is, if I asked you for the study, if I asked you for the study of vegan babies and how they're all getting deficient and dying, it doesn't exist, is it? Okay. We don't have this. Exactly, why there's no studies. So yeah, but there's, there's news reports, of course. Yeah, and if you why would they study that vegan babies die if they want people to go vegan? Right. It doesn't make sense. So that's yeah, but, what, what, it, it but what do you mean, who wants vegan? people to go vegan? Like, like, why, like, like you said, the World Health Organization, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's vegetarians and vegans work there only. Right. So they release these studies that it's... It's not just vegetarians and vegans, yeah, like in the World Health Organization. I don't, I, don't know if, I don't know if that's all true. All the really. authors of the studies that say it's healthy for all stages of life, all of them are vegan. I don't think that, yeah, I mean, I know, I know, I know what you're saying. I know there was um, some people that were vegan who helped do the, the, the study, didn't they? Uh, in the thing. But the thing is, you've got to remember, that study was then peer reviewed by other people that were not necessarily vegan oh, themselves. So we can't completely debunk it just because a few of them were vegan, because realistically, if they thought it was healthy, them, then right. they would they would follow the diet. You can't even call so it a study because it's not. It doesn't mean they were necessarily ethical vegans either. They could have just been doing yeah, it for health yeah, reasons. I just or, can't call it a study because it's not something you can experiment on and uh, repeat. That's what a study should be. It's just a text yeah, yeah. that it's fine for all stages of life and for pregnant women. It's just a text. It's somebody's opinion. Yeah, yeah. There was the, the study even a study. Well, I guess, well, I guess what we can agree on here then is that all the studies, the ones you're saying and the ones we're saying could all have faults within them, right? We don't know for yeah. sure that any of these are 100% correct. We can't tell that because there could be bias within all of them. Yeah, but I'm what, not a fan of studies that even Yeah, exactly. Just saying. Exactly, so I mean, what we should look at is just the general populations and how we're, we're doing and everything. And there's not a ton of vegans. I mean, yes, there are vegans being ill, but there's also other people in other, I mean, there's people on the carnivore diet getting ill as well. Come on, everyone's getting ill doing everything. Like the world's sick. It, um, but we, there isn't enough evidence to say that this is like terrible and no one should do it. It's there's, just, there's evidence. It's not that. Uh, the, all the anti nutrients and the toxins in the plants, there's evidence that they cause problems. Yeah, but again, you're, again we're going to go back to a study and then we go, no, well, is that study bias? It's certainly a study. Blah, blah. I mean, I also interview ex-vegans, so I also yeah, have I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen on the, some of your channel and stuff. The thing is, as well, like the thing is, you know, I've watched some of the ex-vegans, you know, and I'm sure some of them had genuine problems. You know, some people do have different things go on. The rest but, is just lying. No, no, but there were some on there where you know I can just say like. You just weren't eating properly, dude. You know, going on this crazy raw diet. Which every time you hear the word raw, stuff, like, in the first two just minutes. Just eat a balanced diet. Like, I mean, raw, it's just like, it's, you know. a balanced diet first, and then they go raw because it doesn't yeah. work. Not always, no. not always. Yeah, I did as well. you got to remember, in the vegan movement, especially a good few years back, there was this big thing with, like, Free the Banana Girl, Jewelry and Rider, about always kind of raw till four and raw eating. Uh, and that was the big buzz back a few years ago. And now we're seeing a lot of the people that were doing this like strict raw are kind of being like, oh, actually, maybe it's not that, that great for me. And I think that's where a lot of the people you're interviewing are falling off. You know, people like, like Prem, for example, he did all the raw stuff. But uh, he did, uh, yeah, he did raw. Yeah, which yeah. Fucked him up, and then he did other stuff after all. So. Yeah, yeah. So, but the, the, the thing is, like, you know, all the people that are just eating a standard balanced diet, all fine. Like, no, there are a bunch that also get it's, sick. I mean, it's not only raw. If, if there's people being sick of this, can't the people on the carnival diet being sick as well? Right? It's the same. So symptoms. we can't say that it's just because a few people are sick in veganism. Vegan for six years, actually. So. So you're vegan six years. Yeah. <laughs> right. What happened to you? Yeah, I'm interested, As, man. What's, what's yeah. your well, kind I of personal? I saw all the ex-vegans. Okay. Uh, first of all, I've never encountered any ex-vegans. Right, right. I was like, that doesn't exist. No, exactly. no, no, no. Either you yeah. go vegan or you don't go vegan. Yeah. But you stay vegan. That was what I was thinking. Right, right. But then I saw like people testimonies, some of from his channel, but not all of, also other ones. Yeah, yeah. And most vegans that are longer than four or six years vegan, they get the same problems. And it's, I had the same problem. So for me, it was like. At least, I mean, I like I said, give them no attention. meat since 2002, so I haven't eaten meat now for 19 years, yeah. okay? I, in that time when I was vegetarian, I was barely drinking any milk because I just didn't like milk, and I barely, I didn't like eggs. So I was very, just cheese, really, that was the only thing. Completely vegan for five years, had my blood test done, like, 
a few weeks ago absolutely fine. In fact, I think it said I have like a 1.3 chance of ever getting any cardiovascular yeah. disease in the next the 10 years. Is, I don't so, care if you're healthy or not. You don't problem. care if you're healthy or not? No, yeah, yeah, I, I, don't, I, I don't know you guys health. think the cholesterol yeah. should be high. I, I you understand can be that. But, um, oh, what I can't understand though is like why are you yeah, I mean, on things you that you don't wanna, like? I mean, I mean you yeah, see veganism as being like a huge, huge We're going to move into the shades. One thing I really believe in is I think that having civil discourse between people with opposing views is important because in the end normally there's an element of truth in the middle from what we're talking about you know I'm sure some of the I'm sure some of the things you're concerned about are genuine concerns and I'm, I think a lot of stuff I'm talking about has genuine concerns and I think unless we what's this what, what, yeah, what, am, yeah. I, what am I explaining? I've seen, I've seen this. These are people that have probably had underlying problems okay, with their well, diet. Go, Goji Man had a ton of problems, okay? Um, free, I mean, Freely looks fine now. I don't get what the issue with Wait, Freely yeah, is there. Yeah, this is before she was vegan. That was before yeah, she was vegan. So you think we could not get oh, yeah, but Freely a collage doesn't wear any of a thousand, makeup anymore. A hundred thousand or a million like people. Like makeup so Freely. She doesn't wear any makeup anymore. She's all natural. That shouldn't make such a difference. Oh, come on. You wake up in the morning, you haven't put your makeup on, you know you're going to look a bit different. It's not I accurate comparison. I sometimes don't do makeup. And it's but many of these people are suffering anorexia and were tired. probably suffering an anorexia before they yeah, were vegan. Uh, probably quite a lot, fatigue. actually. Yeah, Tofu told me he's a guy who's had like chronic problems his entire life. You know, he's trying to sort stuff out. Like some of the people on here. You know, no, yeah, I know he's yeah he's, he's eating some meat at the moment. I think literally because he's been told to. Otherwise, he's gonna. I don't know what they're doing. I know, but I mean, have I have I got the vegan sunken eye? Am I like yeah. look like I'm dying? You I mean, think, you're you probably gonna so, say yeah, yeah, but I mean, I mean, we can look at say something like prep. But you don't look very emaciated. I don't. I do. I, I exercise a lot. I walk okay. a lot. I walk everywhere. So I burn off. I burn off yeah, a lot yeah. of calories. Uh, that's the thing. Is sometimes it gets too hard, yeah, yeah. and your digestive system gets messed up to even gain weight. I mean, I, I probably walk about sort of like 60, 70 miles a week. Right. So I burn off a lot, and I eat a lot. I eat about 3,000 calories a day. I probably burn off a lot of that as well. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I used to be about. I was always about 11 stone maximum, and then I think after the like when I started exercising, nothing to do with when I changed my diet, but when I started exercising. I went down to about so, sort of ten and a half, so about half stone lighter. I was always yeah. skinny. Always. I know. I mean, I mean uh, realistically, I mean, way. me what saying how I look when I'm this age, like everyone. I don't miss any of it. I don't miss any of it at all, though. I really don't. You know, and, I, and, and I know you I don't like. We like talk about like. Anecdotal this kind of thing. Well, again, my anecdotal was like I was experiencing a lot of problems before when I was eating animal products. I was experiencing constant lethargy, um, bad sleep, anxiety, constant like, back problems, that kind of thing. And and that is all gone now. You know, I'm like getting towards 50 years old, and I feel like at the peak of my life. And it's like I wasn't feeling like this in any way at all before. Never felt this kind of energy, you know. And I know it's different. It's different for each person. You know, everyone's different. And we can look at the worst in people that are eating like carnivore, people that are eating like McDonald's or eating like vegan, or whatever. And there's always going to be like, you know. Okay. Good and bad, healthy, okay, unhealthy, no, people that look great, people that look like shit. You look down the street, you see people that look absolutely disgraceful all the time, you know. It's just, there's no, there's no strict pattern. And you've, you've got like the worst of the worst there. And you, you put it all together, it looks, it looks striking, obviously. You know, in the videos where you slow down all the footage and you focus on like one, you know, a couple of frames. Yeah, it looks, it looks, it looks bad. But we could, you know, could we not do the same for people that are eating animal products? Of course we could. Yeah, but uh, they eat maybe, and most people eat like 30 percent animal products. That's the thing. And a ha hamburger at McDonald's is like 70 percent plants. Mm. So it's just the overall diet is shit for everybody. I mean, is it, is it that you're, so you're like basically and your keep meat is super cooked. So they don't really get anything out of it anyway. That's why even they can get a B12 deficiency. Yeah. I mean, like, with you guys, I mean, like, I know you, you obviously have a YouTube channel, channel, channel and this kind of thing, and obviously, like, Prem does. And obviously, you want to get like, But I know targeting vegans, targeting vegan protests, and this kind of thing obviously generates a lot of interest. But is, it, is that at the same Is that really promoting what you're promoting? Because, like, we go out and we'll do things that are actually promoting what we, rather than sort of trying to attack, we don't come to, like, a, you know, a carnival event. And, so we're trying to stop. Yeah, no kind of Actually, Joey Armstrong <laughs> did, did, did go to a barbecue festival. So oh, yeah, he does yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, I did see that, actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
But I mean, you say like you, you don't seem like you're really anti me. Like I mean, you're, you're anti vegan, but I'm anti vegan. Right. Okay. So that's the impression I, I get I with like the with Prem. I get the impression he's like yeah, he seems very angry and he talks to people and and, and yeah. no, I mean, I've seen him. I you know, yeah, actually sort of chat with him. He's actually yeah. not like that. Like not like he how he appears on. His channel, but no, I don't believe it comes across like it's like totally just sort of anti vegan, like something's happened to him, like to make him that way. But in, you know, we should be like a battle. It's, it's, it's again, um, yeah. if you cook your food as well, you're gonna lose it. You're yeah, gonna yeah, lose yeah. the B vitamins, you're gonna lose them. That's, that's just how it is. Uh, unfortunately, so. Yeah. Definitely, those people don't eat raw. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I'm sure they don't. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but, what, but what I'm not seeing is like there's all these small studies saying about vitamin A or vitamin this, but there, there is no big study out there that's saying, you know, vegans are all suffering from these huge deficiencies on a popular, on a wide population scale. It's just not there. The evidence isn't there. And the evidence with the people around, I mean, how many vegans are here? And everyone's, everyone's not walking around looking dead. And I know you guys see people and be like, they look like this in a list. No, like, but most people aren't vegan yeah. for that long. Yeah, but a lot, you know, a lot of people aren't, but you've got to think about the reasons why. It's not necessarily because of health reasons. There's peer pressure. They don't know how to do it. You know, they don't know what to eat. There's so many other reasons. I don't think people are all quitting because of health. Mainly it is peer pressure and convenience. But I know that, you know, there's people who do the diet right. You know, I mean, I mean I've been in one of them and there's mm. been many people actually... But did you go to a doctor and get full tests? I have had tests, okay. yes. And your doctor 100% told you that it was because of a vegan diet you could confirm that from a medical doctor I that it was the vegan diet it wasn't any internal issue that much about nutrition in general they're no no they, they, they don't you're very true right? doctors only do so a very small nutrition thing they wouldn't even be able yeah. to tell you if it were the case but unless you've been to a nutritionist and you've got a thing that actually tells you the vegan diet has made you deficient in this there is no evidence that it was the vegan you know, diet and it couldn't have been something who internal have experienced that right that they eventually ended up at some Specialists. There's also people that don't eat vegan that also have you know problems where they can't absorb vitamin D or they can't absorb this. It happens. That's not the diet's problem. That's just a problem with that individual and their body. Well, their again, um, most people don't eat a healthy diet. Most. People. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think understand. 99 yeah, yeah. percent of people don't eat a healthy diet. Yeah. So. Of but can you, with 100 percent certainty, say that you cannot be healthy on a vegan diet? Yes. Okay, then how are my blood I think tests for a good while, and how are my you can sustain, fine? you probably can sustain a bit longer yeah. than most people. Maybe actually the fact that you were vegetarian for such a long time has made your body a bit more um, adapted towards taking those steps of getting fully plant-based. Yeah, but I'm not the only person. No. I'm not the only person that do There's a lot. And we're, talking, we're, not talking, we're, not, and we're not talking the minority. We're yeah. talking the, the majority of vegans are fine. You know, there's... Uh, small people. And I've talked really? to many vegans and they don't. Really I talk to vegans every day. Come on, I'm, uh, I am, I am one. You know, all you, my friends are vegan. You know, I want to hang out with a vegan. vegan. They wouldn't of tell course. you if they weren't. I, I know. Okay, maybe there's an the odd one that might be like sneaking a little bit of chicken every now and then, right? Okay. But the thing many is, many of them do, and that's the funny thing. They actually. When they quit, only then they admit that, because they, because of peer pressure, they don't wanna. Some of them even have like companies yeah, yeah. and um, yeah, like business everyone was telling interests. Me, Dude, you look sick as fuck. What happened? And I'm like, no, what are you talking about? I'm fine. I'm yeah, but again, with, with you, did you go to a doctor? Did you go to a nutritionist? Have you actually got a solid evidence that it was the vegan diet? No, I was convinced that I'm healthy, so I didn't. Yeah, go yeah. To but you're not gonna. Again, you really aren't gonna find. Well, this is why I went to get my blood nowadays. test because I thought I hadn't had my blood test done. I'll go and get them done, and we'll have a look and see if I'm healthy. And it came back absolutely fine. The doctor was like, "Not a problem. Yeah, go away and carry on I doing what you do." I trust the blood test. Like I see the results. But how? But what, what are you gonna trust? No, how Yourself. I feel. Like how now yeah, I feel yeah. better. Exactly. So I did something right because I cured my. But, 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 but didn't mm -hmm. you say uh, you, you didn't feel you didn't you, you felt good and people told you your friends told you you don't yeah. look good? No, everyone around me. I got my. But, but you just club. said you, you felt fine and, and, and your friends. Told yeah, you like I told them. No, I you, you, you don't look fine. For you knew you could have had some bacterial infection. So they just all cleared up see. and now you feel okay again. And it wasn't anything to the night. Where does the bacterial infection come from? It could come from anything. You could have eaten cross contamination from who knows what. Yeah, come on. You can get infections from infections. Everywhere, uh, come on, we know that. Into, um, <laughs> and they reach out to try and make themselves you know, 
feel better. I don't blame them for doing that because they're trying to preserve their own health, aren't they? And everyone That's wants, the most important. Exactly. So yeah, everyone wants to make themselves feel healthy, obviously. Otherwise, but, you can't help anyone. Yeah, but obviously, you can find a solution uh, that may work for you, but that doesn't necessarily mean that what you were doing before was the core issue. It could have been an easy fix. You could have gone to a nutritionist and said, you know what, you just got to eat some more of that. And you go, okay, done. Yeah, but there's people who do this and then... Yeah, you don't know. Like, you just got to say, yeah, maybe but you need I mean, some more I've, iron. I've tried so, very different things. So like, okay, increasing... But you said you didn't go to a nutritionist, spinach. right? No, but even Okay, so you can't save 100%. Come on, we don't need realistic. You know why realistic. I didn't go to nutritionists back then? Because they weren't vegan. Okay. So I thought, well, what well, they would okay. say, I wouldn't listen to okay. it anyway. Well, in the end, though, that's only your fault. You chose you not to that, go. But You're I had that little energy that I couldn't even get up to make a fucking appointment with anyone. But you may have enough energy to go and buy raw meat and try to eat that. So you got some uh, energy no, there, right? Actually, no. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, you know what I'm saying, yeah. But, 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 People but, helped me with But what that. I'm saying is you can't 100% confirm that it was a vegan diet when you didn't go to a nutritionist. You have no actual evidence that it was the vegan diet. It could have been anything else. All you can say, so I already all you can say is you ate like some animal products and it made you feel better. Yeah, true. It definitely so made for being, me feel better. Yeah, okay, yeah. so that's what we can agree on. You ate animal products, Wrong. it made you feel better. Right. But that does not mean that you could not have felt better and you you haven't shown that you I, had I any other I've problems that could have been cleared up. I know I've tried to say that I can exclude all the possibilities. You can say that you tried your best, of course, but you can't say that you had medical, I did everything. medical evidence you to show. See, you should see my cupboards, like, they're full no. of, like, all the health stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. No, I have no doubt that you tried your best so. in everything. But like, if we haven't gone to a professional to confirm this, then we're still back to square one. Or what is a I professional? Felt, Someone who studied some book? I know, like, but come on, we've got it. We've got it. I know that we can say, well, we don't trust anybody. But I mean, to a point, we've got to go. Okay, well, a nutritionist probably why knows would more you than rely I do. Lie your health on someone else. Or someone who's opinion. gone through a big course to learn how to. Still, it is an opinion. It is an opinion, but it's a more it's a more valid opinion than the ones that we have because they've actually you looked into the science have a and the more research. You valid opinion regarding your own health and well-being. Not if you're not very like versed on like biology and know what you need. Then you're very removed from nature. No, well, you're saying you never go to a doctor if you feel ill. You're just going to go. Oh, well, I'm just going to deal with it myself. Really not. If I really yeah. have to, if something but if you go is, to like, a doctor, really wrong, they might go. Hold on. Break a leg or whatever. Yeah. Of course. But you if you go to a doctor, they might go. Well, here's your symptoms. You've got X, yes, X, X. That's what's wrong with you, and this is how you feel yourself. If I don't agree, and I say I'm sorry, I'm I'm not going to listen to your no, of course. advice. You, you got the, you got the, I don't agree. Of course, you've got the freedom to be able to decide that, obviously. Right. And but you see that doesn't debunk everything they say. They've obviously done a lot of research to become everything. a doctor. They don't have My doctor drinks Coca Cola. Yeah, I know. Should yeah, I yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. Any <laughs> health advice from someone who does that? Come on. I know, but come on. That's like saying that I'm not going to listen to someone who's preaching anti racism because they smoke and smoking is bad for them. You know what I mean? Like, Yes, they might do something bad, but that doesn't yeah, Actually, mean that all the stuff they're saying, which is good, would is be now a debunked. Good reason right? not to listen to them, to be honest. No, I mean, how can you, know, you take someone serious who doesn't even take themselves serious? Yeah, I mean, I can understand. I can understand what you're saying, but what I'm saying is, just because they do one thing bad, that doesn't mean every other thing they say is debunked, right? Sure. They can, yeah, they can still be truth within if it. If you didn't know that smoking were to be even if, did, even if they did, even if they even if they chose, like, I'm a doctor and I'm gonna smoke. But it doesn't mean that if they turn around and say, "Hey, smoking's bad," but it means that you shouldn't listen to them just because they smoke. It means they still got the knowledge. Just because it's um, what's the word? They, they say, they "Do what I say, ignorance. do what they I say, not what I do." To remain in ignorance. Maybe even they do. They know it's unhealthy. That doesn't mean the they information they're giving it. you is false, right? They can still give you factual um, information and that doing could something be the wrong. Case. Yes, I yeah. would still take it with a very large grain of salt. It's like I, I could say, like for example, the the moon is made of cheese, right? <laughs> but that doesn't mean that if I now turn around and say we shouldn't be racist, that now my opinion is completely debunked and my opinions on racism are, are now not valid because of course they are. I, I can have this That's wacky also thing. That's actually an interesting you know, see what I mean? topic because people will say they're not racist; they're also liars. Okay, I mean, I, so, I'd rather talk about the vegan thing. We can go into like a racism debate <laughs> another time. You know what your biggest fallacy is? That you believe. Uh, what, what's that? Your biggest fallacy. What's my biggest fallacy? That you believe that anybody can be sick, whatever they eat. But if you eat raw meat, at least since birth, you can be sick. You can have any illness at all. You believe that vegans get sick, and uh, no, it's I, just I, random, I, basically. But you can get sick if you eat only meat. You can't eat sick if you eat only meat. Yeah, it's impossible. Oh. Well, it's, it's where, where, where I would like to, I would like to see the study <laughs> that shows no they eating raw meat. Raw meat. Yeah, well, well, that, but you can see it. Well, you can't prove it. That, that's just an opinion, then. 
Well, you can see a lot you, of You can't too. say that it's been proven. Uh, since I didn't if, say it's been proven. Yeah, okay, well there you go then. So why are we discussing something that isn't provable and it's just completely... It is provable. It's provable. You, that, you well, uh, what's, the, what's, the, what's the phrase it says? That can be uh, asserted about evidence, can be um, debunked with that, yeah, about that evidence. I'll say something like that anyway. Basically, if you haven't got any evidence for it... That's then, why they don't study Then we can get rid of it. Yes, we we can't class study that. study raw meat either for trials. Because it would turn out to be ideal. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure we can see stuff. You know, we, we the thing is, like, we can see an old woman that smokes till 100, yeah. right? But it doesn't necessarily mean that smoking's good for us. Yeah, the only right? ones who really know that raw meat is good are the ones who eat it. You have obviously never ate a only raw meat diet, so you don't know. Yeah, but that's like saying I've only I've never eaten just gravel or bricks. Uh, so I don't know whether it could be healthy yeah, for me. That doesn't no make sense. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no one in nature would, like, naturally gravitate towards eating such a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe not. But if you, I mean, you know, we, I mean, we could go back into the kind of history of man and you know whether we could have even I know that as a back. child I don't really want to go into because I'd rather I talk about today I crave raw meat so for hmm. me that was like did you crave raw meat the information did you crave raw meat or were you just sure. craving the nutrients within raw meat probably the nutrients within okay and which nutrients exactly. were they? vitamin D vitamin A okay, and, you can't, and you can't find them anywhere else not in plants, no. Well, you can. We first start. Well, I'm getting vitamin D you right now from the sun, eggs as well. right? <laughs> you find them in fish. Where she comes from, there's no sun for many months, so you, you gotta eat animals. It's an animal hormone, vitamin D. There's mm. no other way to get it. I was nature. very vitamin D deficient, and I ate an, an, a normal diet before everything else, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but the thing is, what we're saying though, which is because we're, I'm going to bring key back to is. We can make all these things. We can say vegans can't get this, vegans can't get this, vegans can't get this. But you can't come to me with any sort of solid study and go, there's the evidence. It's all opinion. We're all talking opinions, study. right? Yeah, there are studies about vegans that yeah. are iron deficient, for example, and stuff like that. Yeah, but there's also loads of meat that are iron deficient. Oh, there's everyone. Iron. They're like it's too high. That can also happen. <laughs> It is good. Uh, like a friend of mine, um, actually, um, I know he's um, not vegan anymore, but you know, um, Jacko Wacko Vigano, his B12 was through the fucking roof. He had that, he overdosed yeah. on B12. Yeah, he overdosed. Yeah, he overdosed. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, you say he overdosed on, on B12. It doesn't mean that he had exactly. actual real B12. It's not the real it's B12. It's just the blood. So mm. you can take any toxin It's something in the blood. that yeah, yeah. resembles but again, B12 we, we also We also don't have any evidence that this B12 thing and all these vegans are getting this actual B12 deficiency either, do we? It says that you may, you know, you've got to be careful about where you get your B12 and make sure you get it. But there is no study that is 100% saying, like, vegans aren't getting any B12 and they're all going to be fucked by the time they're X amount. Yes, it's not, it's not the case. No, the there will be in the future. No, but you, yeah, but again, you're asserting that. You can't prove that. You're just saying there will be in the future. I think there will be enough cases. Yeah, but, even but I could say I think there won't it, be, and that's just as valid as an opinion. So we're, we're talking yeah, but opinions. It's all just opinions. Exactly, this is what I'm saying. So all the stuff you're saying is just opinion. None of it's fact. So we're arguing but, but, about but opinions. Same as a fact is something you know. And all, all, all you're like, only talking about beliefs. Yeah, but all right I can now. say right. is we're here as vegans and we're all but, alive but, and healthy and I can show you my blood test. You can probably show me your blood test or whatever. Are you implying that studies are facts or what? Well, no, I'm, I'm, yeah. apply, I'm implying that studies can give us a guideline for, for potential evidence. Like, yes, studies can be biased, studies can be wrong. But it's, but that's the it's only stuff thing there that do. starts to build evidence, isn't Give it? A it's, a, it's a building block. Potential blocks. evidence. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. It is. And that's again, all they can do. And and yeah, exactly. But until the, thing is, the very end. But uh, what are we going to do though? We're we just going to assume that until all these studies are done, like it's like, well, there's no studies showing that all vegans are, you know, are vitamin A deficient. So we're just going to assume they are going to be until yeah, the study is done. Be but that would make no sense, would it? There will never be a study about vegan vitamin A levels because it would be just so bad. So you'll never see yeah, that. But why? That's again, that's just an opinion. You can't prove yeah, no. that. You can't prove it's that. It's all opinion. Well, I can prove that, uh, well, I don't know if you can call it proof, but there's a study that UK women can convert better carrot into vitamin Yeah, yeah. But how many, there was like, what, 65 people in that? It, I'm, it doesn't matter if you Yeah, it's, it's like this really small study yeah. that kind of like, it doesn't, yeah, it's, it's, it's not equating, it's, it's not equating to the entire population. More than 40% so couldn't convert it. It just it. shows that you don't care about human health. No, no, what, what that shows is, that maybe by that study, maybe there is a potential problem. It shows maybe there's something there. But at the moment, yeah. But even if there was one, you don't care about. Her, yeah, but that's right? that's not me saying what. So there's no one ever been sick on the carnivore diet. No, there's no ex carnivores, that, right? No, no. But I'm talking about the opposite. We're talking about your diet. You're saying yeah, no one's ever been sick topic? on your diet. Yeah, why did change the ever. topic? No, because it's the same thing. It's exactly the same. I'm just saying what you're. I'm saying back what you're saying to me to you. So you're saying to me like you know, oh yeah, there's you know. 
they're, yes, they're one I'm person. Vitamin A. Starnivores get vitamin A from their food. Right. Vim, and women, UK women, 50% can convert it. So if you value in studies, in that should in indicate... It's not about it. If there's 60 something, right. how many is it? Technically, approximately, it's 30 to 50% at least, if you take all UK women. Yeah, but, this, 50 yeah, but, it, but we haven't done a study with that many people. We've done yeah, a study with about 60. It's a very small amount, right? Even 30 women in the UK, even if it was, yeah. you still don't care about That's their health. Don't you think realistically yeah. we should be looking at that and be like, okay, there's some... That's our future women well, yeah, hold on a second. Raise but, don't, children. but don't you think we should be looking at that and go, okay, well, something happened here. There was a correlation here. But until we make some wild assumption, we need to look further into this, right? It's not really a wild no, assumption. Well, it is, when there's only 65 people and there's how many women in the world? Oh, so it's <laughs> all coincidence that 40 or over 40% of those women can convert beta-carotene into we real know. vitamin A. Who knows? It, it could have been an absolute coincidence. I mean, that's a long yeah, shot, yeah, I understand. It doesn't even matter. But it could have been. It no, could have been. It doesn't, but it doesn't even matter if it's only 30. Surely we need to redo the study. Health. Of course we care about their health. How? How is it not saying you, we care about the health? To Am I vegan? saying fuck those <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, X amount of yeah, women? Because they. Well, yeah, the thing is, I do. Yeah. But I also want people to be healthy at the same time. Obviously, yeah, they couldn't be healthy. Well, the thing is, okay. So if it came down to the fact that there was a woman and she 100% would die if she did not get vitamin A from another point, she yeah, would at least have a justification of survival she'd be like okay i need this to survive i've got nothing against survival i was surviving okay? too. we're not in a situation you where can survive and die at the same time you can be dying while you're surviving you're still alive it doesn't mean you are okay, yeah, no, but the, no no but the point the point i'm saying is is that you know for the majority of us here we are not in a survival situation we're living in an area where there's supermarkets everywhere you're in one of the most vegan cities in the oh, entire shit. on the entire I would, world I would say so, so you can living in a city is very much survival but no, yeah, no but i'm saying no, what i'm saying is everything is available to us you can go and get fruit and vegetables you can buy everything that you need it's all accessible to us we're not living not in a caveman really situation <laughs> where we have to not go out really and is. kill our own food right. to survive what you really need you would have to go for hours no but this is what i'm saying if you could have 100% prove that there was a woman that had no other way but to survive but by getting vitamin A from a certain source, like if they had to do that to survive, at least they would have a, um, a justification to do it. Everyone else, what's their justification? What's your justification? You haven't got a vitamin A deficiency, right? I would if I was vegan. How do you know? I don't know, but I, I wouldn't How do you know? So you just made an assertion. I wouldn't even like man-made food, right? Uh, what? I, uh, okay. I'm, I'm going, of course I'm going to so, eat my so natural you, diet. You, you eat cows, right? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. What, what type of cows do you eat? What type what of breeds? Oh, um, from the butchery. What breed of cow do you eat? Oh, um, I think they also have some Jersey cows. Okay, you know Jersey cows have never existed in the wild and are a man-made animal. I know animal. what wild cows look like in India and such. They're very similar to our cows. It doesn't matter. They're a man-made yes. cow. Even the food no, you're eating... they're man-made. They're bread. Even the food you're eating isn't natural. No, For example, people that eat chicken... It's, it's just bread. Chicken... But yeah, but breeding sex isn't natural? No, but we have created them. They didn't do it themselves. The Jersey cow didn't decide we're going to make the, the Jersey species. That's the Jersey cow is made by man. It's a man made. No, you can. You and you're against man made, man -made things, right? No, it's not man made. Of course it is. No, the Jersey cow didn't come. Man it's like the chicken, like no, the domestic natural. chicken. The domestic chicken is the relative of the it's red also jungle fowl. It's also natural. No, because the chicken was a relative of the um, red jungle fowl. That is the original chicken. The domestic chicken in its form today is completely yeah, unnatural. Sex is natural. It's completely no, unnatural. Whereas your stuff no, we is have created them. modified man. You know, like when people make like a dog, like a pug or a Labrador, that's the same as what we've done with cows and yeah, chickens. I know, but it's for sex, it's natural. <laughs> so, you, so you'd say a pug is a natural animal? A what? A pug. A dog, a breed of dog. Uh, I don't know what a pug is. Mops. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's yeah, a, that, that's natural. Yeah. Even though we have selectively bred them to have all these squash faces yeah, and everything. Yeah, because it's for a natural process. No, but it was for a process that was forced upon them. It wasn't for a natural process. It doesn't matter if you force. It's still a natural process, sex. But yeah, in, in that respect, you could have said that everything is natural. Then. No, it isn't because the, the plants are actually genetically modified. No, they are. I, know, I, 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 I have no disagreement like that they are. If you look at the are. wild carrot, they're not the Oh yeah, the wild carrot's yeah. purple. Right, yeah. It's, you can't, it's not even edible. But realistically, so let's, let's be honest, all the animals we're eating, I, and all the, yeah. um, the yeah. products yeah. that I'm eating, the vegetables yeah. and stuff, they're all man-made. We're not, we're not eating any wild animals, are we? 
footage. My whole point is about the women that you just don't care about. Their no, but I, I've already addressed that. I said if you could 100% so prove that one of those women could 100% not get a vitamin A from a vegan diet and they would actually die and, and they needed to get it from another source and they would have a justification to do so agree. with survival. Yeah, I would agree. Okay. Yeah, but the rest of the population doesn't have that and until you can prove the rest of the population does that, they're doing it unjustified. <laughs> so the deaths of those animals are completely unjustified until they can prove otherwise. If, but again, if you want everybody you know to be on pills again, and inject themselves, then who's saying we all have to have pills? Uh, yeah, you're never going to get B12 from plants. You can get B12 from seaweed, from nori. No, you can. Yeah, you no. can. No, it's, <laughs> it's, it's an, an animal. animal. It's, it's not B12. It's inactive. You, your body can't use it. Right, it, it can actually inhibit the absorption yeah, exactly. of real B12. Dangerous so, to, to take it. What you were saying before that in the city we have access to everything. Yeah, yeah. That's technically not true because we can have easily access to wild animals, etc. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, having good quality food. Yeah. No, I mean, maybe you haven't got access to this stuff. That, yeah, I mean, not maybe not the raw meat or something you want to eat. That's why you can never be healthy um, fully if you live in the city anyway. Whatever you eat, you cannot be healthy. Well, I mean, blood tests say otherwise. So we're going to have to agree to disagree yeah. here, right? I think an optimal. Uh, human being, um, they live very differently yeah. than we are used to. I mean, I guess the way I would sum it up, because obviously we've got closing statements here, <laughs> is um, if you cannot prove that you cannot get any of the things that you need on a vegan diet, right. um, you don't have a justification to take another animal's life to do so. Um, so until you guys can come and say, well, I cannot get this from another source, yes, you I are killing that. animals unjustifiably. Um, well, I know, and because I have... Noticed, yeah, okay. I've noticed the difference. Um, so, so you would agree that you're killing animals with no justification because you can't no. prove that you can't get anything you need from another source. I know that it is very justified for my health to get all the nutrition. Yeah, but you can't I prove that, right? Yes, We've already said that you haven't been to a nutritionist. I mean, You've got no medical know, evidence to back again, that up. Yeah, but we don't agree on that thing in the first place. You um, assume that a doctor or someone who has read some nutrition books knows better how you feel than you yourself But surely can. you can I admit, someone who's done that. a huge so nutrition course is going to know more than a, the, indiv the general uh, individual. Could, could right? you show your tongue? Well, my tongue? Yeah. If you want, I'm very dehydrated That's today, but if you really need I've to see it. I've noticed okay. yeah. before <laughs> as well. I know, I've been talking Be all day, I've been filming. Candida, I've been so. talking. It looks I've like looked. Candida. <laughs> yeah. It's called dehydration from talking all day and animal rights smudge, so come on. I mean, that's a bit of a low blow to get in there, isn't it? I mean, but it's it's an indication. It's really not up to And it says more than blood levels. Can we have a look at Sparridge's teeth and then go, come on, like, you can't end it on Candida, though. Everyone, go vegan unless you got unless you can prove you can't get any vitamin from another source. You're killing animals unjustifiably, and I'll happily debate any of you carnivore lot. Go check me out on Instagram at chrishtf. I've got a YouTube channel as well. Peace out, everyone. Go vegan. Much love to everyone. Thanks for the civil debate. Anyway, I appreciate it. All right. See you in a bit.